Hello, um, I am Amanda. Um, I'm a junior at Boston College. I also ski race for Boston College and I'm studying economics. And Andrew, if you could introduce yourself as well, that would be great. Uh, I'm Andrew. I am going to Eastern Arizona College. I am majoring in computer information systems and I enjoy fencing. Awesome. Um, so Andrew, if you could talk a little bit about how you picked your college and um, if you've always gone there, um, aka if you're not a transfer or if you are, what that experience was like, just a little bit about how you got to where you are now um, with regards to your college. All right. Um, my college, I got there just because of the geographic distance. It's only like 60, 70 miles away from where my parents live. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's really useful for that. I like to stay around my family. Yeah. And it also is a really great like small town community college. Like it's based over in Thatcher in Safford, Arizona. And I just really like the campus atmosphere as everything's contained within just a couple of blocks and everybody knows each other. And I, let's see, I started studying computer information systems just because I found a lot of computers interesting. And mm -hmm. uh, despite the name, computer information systems is actually a business degree. Oh, and wow. really, yeah, I, I enjoy I studying that. economics and stuff as well. Great. So that's really why I chose that. <laughs> awesome, that's really interesting. Um, so, and you, have you transferred before or have you always been at this college? No, I didn't transfer. Um, I actually started at this college, uh, a semester early because okay. I was doing a dual credit program with the high school that I was living or the high school that I was going to. So I've actually been going here, uh, since I was about 16 years old. Wow. That's pretty incredible and unique. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so another question is, do you have a career center at your school that um, helps you with resumes or career advice that you know of? I know that we have one, but I hardly ever use it. And I know that mm -hmm. not that many people really use it either. Mm -hmm. um, one of its biggest standout points, though, is it does have a section for uh, entrepreneurship. And so that's where a lot of most people use it for is people go to that college, like even just the residents of the town and go there to help get started and make, build up some connections with making a small business where they live. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so do you think they really advertise their service as well, or do you think that they could improve upon that? I, I think they could improve how they advertise yeah. it. Like most of the students know it exists, but not much more than that. Right. Don't really know what they could fully get out of it. Yeah. That makes sense. I feel like that's pretty common among um, different schools. Um, so you talked a little bit about what your major is and why you like it. Um, if you could just expand upon that a little bit. So maybe if there's certain resources that helped you pick your major or um, with like career exploration in general. Um, and, you know, if your major was always something that you wanted to study or if you kind of like stumbled upon it um, based on different factors, if you could just go into a little bit more detail on that, that would be great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So I actually knew that I wanted to study computers since I was like 13 or 14 years old. Wow. Uh, when I was 12 years old, that was right when like the Minecraft fad was really picking up and yeah. I played it for like a month and I just got dead bored of it. But because <laughs> of my friends were still playing it, I wanted to kind of still hang out with them a lot. And so I actually mm -hmm. ended up making mods for Minecraft. So oh, that's wow. where I started programming. Okay. Uh, I did that for a couple months and then I got bored again and I just started fiddling around and back in like 2014, 2015, I made my own voice assistant on my old Windows computer wow. back before like back when even Siri was a new thing. Uh -huh. And then ever since then, I've just focused mostly on website development and uh, video game development. And I've okay. made a couple of video games myself and published them worldwide. That's awesome. So you would say that this is kind of like your passion that you've always had and then this is you like following that passion right now? Yeah, definitely. That's great. Like, um, like I'm a code monkey through and through. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know that much about computers, but that sounds really cool. Um, so are there any resources at your school that kind of like helped your um, career path along or was it mainly like you taking initiative? Um, it sounds like you definitely like took initiative from the start, but did anything change once you got to um, university? Um, it was almost entirely myself taking initiative. Uh, see, last semester I took a computer basics class because it was like a required for my major. So I got to learn all about how to use Microsoft Word and Excel <laughs> and all that. Yeah, That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
let's see, I was talking with some of the professors last semester about a self-study project this semester that would get me mm -hmm. credit. So I was planning on making essentially a cryptocurrency trading machine. Oh, wow. So, but that ended up not going anywhere. So right now I'm just taking web development classes at the local college. Okay, that's really impressive. Um, so, um, for, in terms of uh, your career path, um, are you pretty dead set on going into, um, it sounds like you're pretty invested in computers, um, but what kind of field are you looking to go into? And if you know, and you know, what are your general plans for after college? Um, I am very set into computers, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I want a job in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I see a lot of the computer stuff that I do as more of a hobby and a backup career. If okay. I, I kind of want to spend like the first 10 years or so after I finish college, just exploring and yeah. uh, figuring out a lot more of what I want to do. Like I plan on possibly traveling around and being an audio engineer for a couple of years or trying something like that. Yeah. Um, or getting into the indie startup scene, like programming is something that I'll settle down to eventually. Okay. So it's, it's right now it's a lot more of a hobby and something that I just really enjoy more than anything. Yeah. It's, it's just a benefit that it'll make me money. Yeah, that makes sense. And I feel like there's so many different career paths out there and a lot of people don't know that those, that there's so many different options. So I yeah. think it's great that you're keeping your options open. And I also feel like in terms of your major, it's becoming more and more common where your major isn't necessarily a determinant of what your career path is going to be. Right. As long as you have like a strong, edu like a uh, wholesome um, educational foundation, it's becoming yeah. more and more um, prominent to see people venturing out into different fields once they actually start their career. So that's really interesting. And I definitely relate to that. Um, a, on a different note, a slightly different note, do you know what an association is? And if so, do you belong to any? Uh, I don't personally belong to any associations and where I live, like there's almost no associations that I know of, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in Morency. I have no idea whether or not there's any in uh, Safford or Thatcher where I go to school, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's about it. Yeah. I think most college students have this, a similar answer where they're not really a part of any associations and just to broadly define associations from my point of view, it's usually just, um, a group of people working towards a common goal. Um, and that can, so there can really be associations of any sort. And, um, I think that most people, um, at our age are involved in clubs or, um, different like community projects, but most people, um, explore associations more um, in the next couple of years once they're starting their career path and uh, get exposed to them more because like you said some areas you don't even have much exposure to that yeah so, um, so do you have any internships or apprenticeships apprenticeships lined up and I know we kind of already talked about this but what do you think your direct next steps are um, after school um I don't really have any internships or apprenticeships lined up. I've been, I've, but I like to get out there a lot. And so mm -hmm. I talk to a lot of people. So I don't really think I really have an issue finding myself a job. Yeah. Um, like particularly just because like I'm fairly good at programming. So worse comes to worse, I could just settle for that. Yeah. But yeah, no. I, well, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a big grand plan yet. Yeah. So that's and that's okay. Fun. Honestly, most people don't. And a lot of people start freaking out when they don't have a plan, but uh, the majority of the population does not have a plan, you know, when yeah. in college and what's going to happen next. Um, and I think that, like you said, like talking to people and networking is like one of the greatest skills that you can have. Uh, yeah. Me, myself being an economics major, I'm going into corporate finance and to get any kind of internship there, like 90% of it is networking and it actually like teaches you a lot about communication skills and how important that is for getting a job and like reaching out to people and setting up phone calls and just getting to know people and, oh, yeah. you know, forming interpersonal skills. So I think that's like a really big part of like forming your career foundation foundation is to like, get out there and try and network as much as possible and just yeah. talk to people and learn from their uh, advice and their experiences. So yeah, I think that's, I think you're on the right track. <laughs> I mean, one, one thing that I really enjoy is like, I know that most people don't like this, but I enjoy going out there and meeting new people and talking yeah. to new people. So like the yeah. networking part is the funnest part for someone like me. Yeah. And I know that that's not really standard 
but like that's something that I really enjoy. So yeah. Well, that makes sense. And I mean, I think for people that are more introverted or shy at first, it can be intimidating, but, um, and that was, um, how, that's how I felt, um, going into like trying to start like looking for an internship and for a job. But I think one of the, it was one of the most, um, I learned the most out of that experience. And I think I have, you know, in any other experience in my life, because once you start the process of like reaching out to people, it gets easier. And then you realize how much you can benefit from other people's experiences and knowledge. So um, even if it is intimidating to people, I think that once you get the, like, the ball rolling and you start um, reaching out to people, you realize how great it is. And it bec- definitely becomes easier in time. So but oh, it's yeah. definitely lucky that, you know, you love doing that because that's definitely, I think, in my opinion, a major part of, you know, figuring out what your, what your path is going to be. Right. Um, so those are all my questions. So I wish you the best of luck and thanks for chatting. All right. Thank you. And good luck with you. Thank See you. See you around. See you around.